new plant parents either typically overwaters or they underwater. A plant has a more likelihood of surviving if you underwater the plant versus overwatering the plant. So in this case, less is more. Set up a schedule for yourself. What are your queens about every week? And make sure you do that finger test. You wanna make sure that you're testing the soil to ensure that she is ready for a drink of water. Let's say that this heart leaf philodendron was uh, experiencing a lot of yellow leaves and let's just say you know her foliage had begun to decrease and she was looking a little bare the first thing that i would do is to inspect the leaves and make sure that there are no pests on the leaf so really just looking and seeing if there is any residue bite marks, little pests along the leaves because infestations can impact the health of the plant. That's also something that you wanna make sure you do before you welcome a green girl into your home. You wanna make sure you inspect those leaves. Then I would most likely take this queen out of her pot and would be looking at her roots. And so in this case, this is a cement planter and it does not have a drainage hole, all right? She's taking a little bit of a risk without that drainage hole. But I do have lava rock at the bottom of this planter to ensure that she's not sitting in water for long periods of time. Very, very crucial for any planter that does not have a drainage hole. What I would most likely do is take this queen out of her pot just to see if she's experiencing root rot or maybe the roots are root bound. Root rot is basically when the roots of the plant turn to mush and they're no longer functioning. So they'll be black, they'll be mushy. So the roots are not feeding the plant, which causes the leaves to fall off. That is okay. It is not a lost cause. There is something that you can do to save that plant. And it is called propagation. So I repurposed the spike rack. And uh, the spice rack is now my little propagation station. And uh, these are cuttings of plants that were struggling. And I just wanted to make sure that I uh, kept a part of those queens alive. This was a cutting from a monstera that was struggling. And now she has these beautiful long roots that she's growing in water. And so I'm gonna be repotting her soon. And now she gets another chance at life and she gets to start all over again. If your plant is experiencing root rot, I would encourage you to take the plant apart, separate the healthy roots from the roots that are no longer living or functioning and place those roots in water. Let them get readjusted, wait for those roots to continue to grow, and then place that cutting into some soil. And now that queen has another chance at life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.